I suppose the first question is a very, very simple one. But from your understanding, what happened on the night of the bus crash? Yeah, on the day when the accident occurred in, uh, in Western Kenya, this is on 15th of uh, January, uh, this year 2013. Uh, it was around uh, uh, 1, 1, uh, 1.30 p.m. This was during daytime. And uh, I'm told uh, this occurred at a place called Mansu. This is a place uh, along uh, Machengo Luanda Road. This is in West, Western Kenya. And uh, the information we have is that uh, there were some uh, uh, New Zealand uh, citizens which had uh, come to Kenya. They came to Kenya on, uh, on, 19, uh, on 29th, on 29th of uh, December 2012. And uh, in total, uh, they were 19. And then uh, they were uh, visiting a, a training uh, a college in, in Western Kenya, which is, uh, we have given, been given the name of the colleges Aquest, Aquest College, or training center for that, for that matter. And uh, so this is an educational center where they have an exchange of programs they have a partnership with a, a college in New Zealand called uh, Bethlehem College. I'm told this college is situated in uh, uh, Bay Plant, Bay Plant uh, district in New Zealand. And they have an exchange uh, program with, uh, with that uh, Aquis College in Western Kenya. So these, uh, these are adults which are uh, taking some courses in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in that uh, Bethlehem College. They were coming to Kenya to exchange some programs. So in that very uh, that day, uh, they had gone to visit a district commissioner in the morning. And then from district commissioners, they went to a high school within that uh, region. And then now, from the high school, they were going back for lunch uh, at Quest, uh, at Quest, at Quest College. So as they were going back, now it was raining. It was raining. In fact, heavily raining. And then uh, ahead of them was uh, another vehicle which was carrying some of them. And the, uh, the particular vehicle which was involved in the accident uh, was, carrying, uh, uh, was carrying a total of uh, 13 uh, Queensland citizens and uh, one Kenyan uh, citizen who was also a passenger and uh, a driver. So in total they were 15 in that small van. The capacity of the van was not over, uh, overloaded, it was uh, allowed to carry that uh, capacity. So it was all well, the, the, the matter to the, the, that, uh, that van uh, was new and uh, it was traveling on a smooth tarmac road. There was no bottle, the, the road was so smooth, it was good, even the road was marked. And then, for a known reason, that fan veered uh, off from the lane it was going on the right side of the road and start rolling. And uh, in the process, the driver of the fan, in fact, died on the spot. And then, uh, out of the 13 uh, New, New, New Zealand uh, citizens, they were uh, rushed to Akakan hospital in, uh, in Kisumu and on arrival uh, immediately we lost uh, two of the New Zealand uh, citizens and then later on another one uh, uh, died the night. So in total uh, from that accident we lost uh, four people. Uh, one Kenyan uh, driver and uh, three New Zealand uh, citizens and uh, uh, the other remaining New Zealand, that is now 10 from the, 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 the accident, were also uh, injured. And we have uh, reports showing uh, various injuries. And uh, these people were covered by uh, traveling uh, insurance. So, so many players, several uh, players came into assistance. And uh, the traveling uh, insurance firm airlifted them from. Uh, from Kisumu to Nairobi. They were treated in Nairobi. 
akakana and even they made the arrangement to be uh, moved back to, to their country and uh, we are still getting reports from them. So immediately we got a report of the accident, the police uh, in fact were the first, among the first people to arrive at the scene. It was raining heavily but the police managed to reach to the site and uh, I am going also to show you the, 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 the photographs which were taken from the site the layout of the road and even the position of the car, the, 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 the fresh position of the car, including even the, the body of the driver, the position of the body. So the, the police uh, conducted investigation. And uh, it is unfortunate that uh, the, the witnesses, we didn't get uh, the, the those people who were either pedestrian or uh, bystanders who were uh, just uh, there when the accident occurred, it was raining and people had gone to the houses and nobody was on the road. So we are relying on the evidence given to us by uh, victims who are surviving on what happened, why the vehicle rolled. But uh, for us, we are attributing it to mainly two factors. The one, the weather, the road was slippery, and perhaps so that the person whom we were to to really to to pin down to tell us exactly what happened is the driver. But it's unfortunate. It is unfortunately that is also there. So we are attributing either to the the, the, the weather because it was raining and it was also slippery. The road was slippery, and also perhaps the driver. Though the speedometer of the vehicle after the crash and the, the engine went off, the speedometer is showing it came back to its original uh, starting point. So we are also thinking could, uh, this vehicle could be could have been uh, the driver could have been speeding. No, the vehicle was speeding because this this is a machine which was driven by human beings. The driver might have been speeding, and uh, now uh, we cannot now blame him. Is dead. Though we can also blame him, though he's dead, but uh, the person now to take the, the to be uh, either to be punished or to be followed is uh, really the driver, the person who was driving the vehicle. So it was no reason why the vehicle veered off the road. The vehicle was new, and uh, the capacity was up to it was okay. So we don't know what happened to the driver. The visibility was also not good because it was raining heavily. So according to the statement of uh, the, the, the we have gotten from uh, the victims is that uh, they were moving, uh, of the, 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 all, all was okay, until all of a sudden they found the vehicle now uh, uh, moving in a, in a funny way, and then it went off the road, it start, uh, started rolling, 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 and then it stopped. So uh, the driver always is the key to tell us what exactly happened. Is it a mechanical? Is it what? So, uh, really it is unfortunate that the person who was to tell us, because it's the person who was controlling the machine, it's unfortunate that he died, in fact, on the spot. And on that issue of who was driving the vehicle, as far as the Kenyan traffic police are concerned, it was the Kenyan driver, and you do not consider the suggestion that it was the 18-year-old New Zealander, the, um, David Fellows, who was behind the wheel. No, according to, the, the, to our investigation, the person who was driving uh, the, the vehicle was this uh, Christopher uh, uh, Kibisu, who was driving the, the vehicle. And even from the post-mortem which we, we have, uh, and also relating to the, to the ins ins uh, inspection of the motor vehicle, it showed that the driver, uh, Christopher Kipisu, was uh, was injured on the on the right side of the of the chest, and uh, several uh, ribs were broken, and uh, the, the the steering of the of the car was uh, really ripped off from the it side. And uh, it was uh, it, it appears that the driver himself who was driving the vehicle, in fact, uh, had an impact, a serious impact with the with the steering. So from the the report we have, the post mortem, the injuries of the driver, 
and also the, the inspection of the of the car is showing that really uh, uh, the driver, the Kibisu was the, the one driving the car. So I think these are the stories, unless uh, something else uh, which we have not foreseen at this stage comes out clearly to supersede the, the, the opinion we have formed as investigators, we, we still believe uh, uh, Christopher was the one driving the, the car. And so what do you make of the investigation within New Zealand and by even officials in New Zealand that there was a swap, a driver swap, and that it wasn't uh, Christoph who was driving the vehicle, but it was the 18-year-old uh, David Fellows? No, according to our investigation, I've told you clearly. The, qu the question is, what do, what, um, what do you think of the investigations that are taking place in New Zealand about this driver swap? You think they're pointless? Yeah, I think that is not true. Yeah, that is not true. But doesn't the information that has spurred those investigations come from the people who were inside the vehicle, the people from New Zealand, um, and that the suggestion is that there's been some kind of cover-up to prevent the Kenyan authorities from finding out what really happened that day? No, there is no cover-up. This is an accident which occurred during daytime. The members of public, that is the citizens who have their own uh, uh, free opinion, also came to the site. They saw what happened. And those people can be interviewed by any other person to give what happened or exactly what happened. This was not, uh, there, is no, there is nothing to hide here. Because this was an, an accident. And uh, the, the Kenya government have no any uh, intention of hiding whatever has happened in a scene of accident. That is our normal uh, 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 stand always. We have been always giving people the truth of what happened in a scene of accident for them to understand what really happens. Of course, there's no suggestion that the Kenyan authorities are trying to hide anything at all. The suggestion is that the people who are involved in the crash have been trying to hide anything. But I suppose my next and final question is, given your uh, analysis of what happened that day, there is no possibility of prosecution by the Kenyan, authority, by the Kenyan authorities against anybody for what you see as just a, um, a, a, a terrible accident. Yeah, it was a terrible accident. It was uh, 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 unfortunate that uh, the person whom we have uh, really claimed for this accident is a driver, but it's unfortunate that he also is a deceased, he's, he died. And uh, what the government is going to do, what the police is going to do for this matter now, we are going to place the, 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 the file which is a police investigation file for this accident, we are going to forward to the court, to a magistrate, to peruse the file, and then uh, he will also give us uh, his opinion. If he's satisfied, that this needs to be an inquest, because our intention is to put an, uh, a public inquest to this accident. If there is anybody who has a, a, a different opinion as to what happened, or as other evidence may give during that uh, uh, public inquest to look into this thing. So this thing is going to be placed before court. Police is not the end of this case. This, uh, this, uh, this file, which I've gone through, will be placed before magistrate. And it's the magistrate now who will look at it, will look at uh, even the photos which uh, we have, uh, the, 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 the skate plan which have been drawn by the, the police. The police who arrived at the scene, about four officers, including the officer commanding the police station, and other officers who arrived at the scene, drew a sketch of what happened, showing how the vehicle uh, went off the road, and then also uh, giving their, what they saw and their opinion. So, from some of the pictures which we really I may want to show you, you can also look at these uh, pictures and uh, you can see exactly what uh, the position is of... Uh, uh, would you like to see? Mm, yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me show you. Uh, I can give you this, uh, this, these photos you go through. Yeah, th those are fresh uh, photos which, uh, 
we were during our investigation. Mm -hmm. During our investigation, we were looking for those uh, because you know also members of public were around, so we were asking them whether they is there anybody who saw what happened, what happened, so on. So if you look at those uh, the, the the layout, the, the road itself, mm -hmm. if you see that road, it is purely a straight road. There is no yeah, yeah. corner. There is no uh, any bottle. The road is so good, so smooth. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think this this was an act of uh, really unfortunate uh, occurrence because mm -hmm. uh, from what you can see from those uh, uh, photos, of course, uh, you can see this vehicle was a self involved. It was not involving another another vehicle. It was not involving a pedestrian or something or a cow or anything. It was just the uh, uh, self uh, accident whereby somebody was driving and then for an own uh, reason lost the control of the vehicle and from the, 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 the evidence we have that was a, a qualified driver he has been driving for about 10 years he has a valid driving license and this was also an ex uh, this was a person who is experienced in driving so we don't know what happened to him it's unfortunate and it is showing that uh, as a result of that accident he was really injured seriously on the, the right side and uh, so part of uh, his uh, ribs were, were really broken. Mm -hmm. And um, from the point of view of uh, anybody who was involved in the crash in New Zealand, um, as far as you know at this stage, there is no suggestion of prosecution or extradition or further investigation of any of those people. Now, uh, those uh, from uh, New Zealand. Exactly. Yeah, according to our file, our investigation, we do not have uh, 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 any blame to, to those uh, New Zealand people. We don't have any blame to anybody from New Zealand. We, we know uh, uh, our opinion stands that uh, Mr. Christopher uh, Kipisu was the one driving the car, and these others were passengers in the car. So we don't have blame to them up to the up to this place, but I have told you that uh, this uh, file is subject to an inquest. Whereby, what it means by inquest is that uh, in case there is other evidence which have not been seen by investigators, somebody else can bring others which can supersede this one. The court will look at those ones. So in case, unless somebody brings to that uh, inquest uh, to that uh, to say this is what happened and uh, there is other people. But uh, I don't see, uh, unless, unless something else, let me not say uh, that we are not allowing any other evidence. If there is somebody who has something else, please can still come. The file is, has not been forwarded to the magistrate, so it is still open to more information. Yeah. That's understood. Thank you so much for your time today. It's been really appreciated that you've spoken to uh, Television New Zealand and the people of New Zealand. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, you want let, to let, let, yeah, take, like uh, just uh, you holding the photos. Yeah, you, just the way you've done you before. Want to see this one, and then we will put this them out on the table and do a yeah, panning shot. This, and uh, this is the road. If you look at this road, uh, surely the road was so clear. You see the road. The road was so. Yeah. It, is a, it is a good road. This is a, this is the site where the accident occurred. Mm. And you see also the police officers at the site. Yeah, yeah. You see even the car the car which was involved in the accident while it was at the site of the accident. And also, yeah, you see, now it is being pulled by a breakdown from the site. So, you see, this is a, it is a, it is a school van. It was a school van and it was new. According to, to that number, this is a new car. So, these uh, New Zealand people were traveling in a very good car and uh, even uh, even the owner of the the, 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 the school, 